Inches X Algebra Part 2 Feedback. I'm going to have a lot of just does this make sense and did you show work feedback for this problem set. Right here, classic. Here go two answers. How'd you get them? How'd you get them? Here go two answers. How'd you get them? Right? They're legit. This one I know is legit. This one I know is legit. But you got no track, no track record of showing where those numbers come from. You're not getting full credit for this. I, I, I can guess what you did. He bought nine boards. He thought they were two inches wide. He planned to stack them one on top of another to section off a piece of his garden. Unfortunately, they're not two inches wide. So his stack was four and a half inches too short. How tall did he want the stack to be? Well, he took, he thought they were two inches. There were nine of them. So two times nine. That's what gives me my 18. And it's not that much more work to type that. Two times, my fault, not two times 18. Two times nine. That's where my 18's coming from. I understand you can do it in your head. I get that. Let me put it this way. Reveal your process to someone who isn't as smart as you. Pretend pretend I'm not as smart as you. We always want to get in the habit of revealing our process, making our process plain. This right here, maybe it's legit. Let's see. There's five steps. Now, if you remember correctly, this one also, I asked for pictures. So, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, this is also missing pictures, which will be a theme for most of these. The first step's two and a quarter inches shorter than the other steps, which are all the same height. The porch is 34 and 5 eighths from the ground. How tall is the fourth step? How tall is the first step? Well, let me just test their, let me just test their answer with this picture. If their answer is legit, then... The second, third, fourth, and fifth steps all measure seven and three eighths, and the first step measures five and one eighth. All right, let me test this first. Is five and one eighth two and a quarter less than seven and three eighths? Yes. All right, so it matches that requirement. Do these five numbers add up to 34 and five eighths? We have three, six, nine. 12 13 eighths which is one that's eight eighths and five eighths left all right and we have seven four times that's 28 29 34 okay so legit if you want to steal answers from this person matter of fact you want to steal a picture from me you've got this problem done it's already late so you're not going to get full credit for it anyway but Clearly, clearly, I know you're not doing all this all this work in your head. You did work somewhere. You don't have to even put it necessarily in the document. If you're doing work on paper, snap a picture and also attach that as a second piece of evidence. Same kind of thing here. No work shown. Wildly different answers from the person before. And this is where this is where it becomes even more important to show work because this is far off from, from the one we just saw, which means this person is doing some bad reasoning, but I don't know how bad, right? They could be making little mistakes that lead to the errors, or they could be huge conceptual mistakes. I never get a chance to tell. Uh, so this one is not going to be worth much at all. Whereas the other one, I could at least guess, okay, you must have some work somewhere. I'll give you some of your credit. This one, I don't know. You could just be putting down random things. The other thing that I would say is, unless I ask for a unit switch, you're not going to switch units. So everything else in this problem is talking about inches. Let's stick with inches, not switch to feet. The other thing also with units, like check this. How far does Francine move in just one step? 50 steps. That doesn't even make any sense. In one step, I move 50 steps. All right, same kind of thing. Once again, my favorite question is going to be, does your answer make sense? If you're getting an answer of one inch and two inches for the steps that Francine 
and her father are taking. One inch and two inch. Then you had, I mean, you think your answer is legit. Then you had better be making a comment somewhere about how these must be bugs or very small people if their steps are going to be that tiny. I, I also will say I'm not sure that this person's not just giving me random answers because it doesn't it doesn't fit with either of the other two constraints in the problem. Same kind of thing here, right? Was the actual width of one board two inches? If I read the first sentence of the problem, Khalil bought nine boards and thought they were two inches wide. Blah 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 blah. Unfortunately, the boards were not two inches wide. What is the actual width? Not two inches. Anything but. Please, please read. All right, this is another person. So just to just to point out, right? Uh, you're not alone if you are telling me that in one step somebody takes more than one steps. Uh, it doesn't. It doesn't make any sense to me how you come up with this. It could be a. It could be just a slip of the mind, writing steps instead of inches. I'll just let you know that you're not alone if if you, if you made that particular error with that problem. A couple people that did this. Ha! Uh, I apologize. I I don't. I don't like multiple choice questions. I am not going to ask you a lot of multiple choice questions. So you can almost guarantee if I don't if I don't say somewhere at the top of my paper multiple choice, it's not multiple choice. It is not a multiple choice question. And if you had read, I think you could have figured out that it's not multiple choice. Multiple parts is what this is. You got two different questions that you need to answer. I touched on this before. Yo, what I'm going to do with this, for real. Double check your pictures when you take it. Absolutely, I want you to work on paper, right? It's it's it, That's how I would choose to work, rather than work on a computer. So I'm cool with you working on paper, but when you take that picture, look at your picture and say, is Mr. Thomas going to be able to read this? I think not. Also, if I had to guess what this says, I think that you're writing out my questions. That's what this looks like to me. Like you wrote out the paragraph and you might have put some answers over here. I cannot tell. But please never, 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 never do I want you to sit and copy paragraphs. I don't, I don't need you to do that. Your English teacher might want you to write a lot. I, I, I don't want you to, I don't want you to spend your time copying paragraphs. I want you to spend your time showing me how you go farther than what's already been given. This is a much clearer example of all the of all of the problems that I showed you today. This is the this is the best. This will be worth the most points. How um I don't know. It might be it might be tied with the one where the answers were legit, but they didn't show their work. Mm, that's that's my call at the time of grading. But uh, once again, I I just want you to ask yourself. Is my answer reasonable? If I'm telling you that she's using like eight pans at one time in an oven, and I'm asking you how many cookies can be made, and you're coming up with she's only making three cookies, you if you think the answer is legit, you had better be commenting something. Something to show me that you realize this is an absurd answer. Because again, I'll tell you, listen, sometimes sometimes I might mess up when I'm writing the problem and the answer might come out absurd. But you had better be saying, wow, those must be some huge cookies. Or <laughs> if you suspect, huh, I must have done something wrong. I must have done something wrong to be saying eight pans in an oven. We can only make three cookies. Uh, let me show Mr. Thomas the work I did next class and ask, hey, where did I go wrong? I, I, I so much respect the questions that come to me. A lot of times you put a lot of thought into the mathematics and maybe there's a simple mistake, a simple sign switch that needs to happen, or I should have been multiplying instead of dividing, right? We can talk through that stuff. It's okay. It's okay. Okay. For sure. Okay. To make mistakes. 
I want you to start to recognize, though, more, more and more. Ask the question, does my answer make sense? Does it make sense for me to do this, this step here? And when stuff isn't making sense, come back to class and ask.